Good evening and welcome to the regular kind of us and call the meeting to order and for bringing in the pledge to the fire. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's going to kill me one of these days. <laughs> one of our first announcements is that the uh, board takes the time to extend. Our condolences to the family and the friends of Dot McCormick on her passing. Uh, for those that didn't know, Dot was uh, a figure here in the town of Tustin from her early time assisting Kenny Bame in the assessor's office um, as a clerk and an unofficial poodle herder, herder <laughs> in the office. In case anybody came here and saw the 20 poodles that would normally accompany Ken and Dottie. Dot always represented the town in the uh, Tustin in the best way to whoever passed through the door um, and we certainly will miss her and we thank her family for allowing her the time to work with us. Uh, the July 4th celebration went off uh, without a hitch, I guess. A lot of people came to town, the parade was very good and we have Riverfest to look forward to. And for those people that don't know, um, Carol Kramer had passed away. Uh, most people will remember Bernie, who was uh, her husband, who was still living uh, as a colorful person that was here in most meetings until COVID came. And unfortunately, uh, he has not reattended. Um, there's also a poem that Bernie had put, I believe it's still on the website. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So to the family of uh, Carol Kramer, we also extend our condolences from the board. Uh, 1.4 our payment of bills. Our general account expended $49,086.03. The highway $170,928.02. Water $58,144.03. Sewer $25,074.03. Our capital water $23,325. Dollars for a total of three hundred and twenty-six thousand five hundred and fifty-seven dollars and eleven cents. Um, I believe Craig and Kevin did the bill. Yeah, any they were fine. Okay. Good. Um, I would accept a motion to pay the bills as presented. So moved. I have a motion, a second. I'll second. Further discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. I think we only have a few of our division reports at this point in time. Um, I don't believe is the Upper Delaware Council on. No, he's not here. Okay. They did send one in. It does not yesterday, so that one is Okay. Uh, we will get down. As you can see, Jane is not with us this evening due to a prior commitment, which was much more important and fun than being here. Not that it's not fun being here. <laughs> uh, let me get down to the, I will start with the Conservation Advisory Council report. And this is from Jane, it's a short report. Um, the committee has not met as they are waiting information regarding the grant application for an open space plan. The awards are due to be announced in late August or September, and they continue their work on the informational brochure. Uh, the Water and Sewer Committee report. You like to read that? Sure. Uh, also short, we met on July 5th at 8 a.m. And uh, a smoke detection of the lines will be performed to identify leaks in the water system. We sent out notices on all forms of social media that we had, and that was today and tomorrow. Uh, it will be done on a piecemeal basis, and the uh, team will be traveling as the smoke is traveling through the system to see which outdoor points of intrusion we have. If anyone listening has noticed anything inside, there's a number on all of our social medias that can uh, 
accept reports of anything that you've noticed inside your home. And the second point for that meeting, in June, the committee met with a representative of RCAP or RCAP to discuss the sewer rates. They will be doing an analysis of our current rates and advise us of any suggested changes. <clears throat> and that's it. Perfect. Thank you. The grants committee report, the Little Lake Erie culvert um, construction update meeting with Hunt Engineering, the New York Department of Transportation and Rutledge excavating took place this month. It is expected that the preformed dam culvert will be arriving August 10th and demolition of the old culvert will begin 10 days prior to that. The water infrastructure project, the project continues to be coordinated by Delaware Engineering. Delaware Engineering is waiting for the Department of Health approval of our work plans. Paperwork to that <clears throat> will be part of this meeting, which is a secret that we will be going through in the new business. Uh, number three, we have been awarded $20,000 by Sullivan 180 for the purpose of building a pavilion and playground mound in the Tustin Park on the flats. A committee has been formed to work on the project, including a representative from the Youth Commission, which is Crystal Weston, a representative from the flats, Harvey Weissman, a representative from the board, myself, a representative from Tustin Social, which is Greta Knudsen, and a project coordinator, which is Jane Luxinger. There'll be more, uh, just a, a brief mention of it as we get into the old business uh, where the board will update themselves on the process of that committee. Uh, we're waiting word on the Delaware River Basin Restoration Grant for the purposes of creating an open space plan for all of Tustin and the UDC grant for zoning updates continues. And that was submitted by Jim Luxinger. <laughs> I don't believe we've got just any questions from the board regarding any of the reports. Can I just ask you one more question? No, you'll be given an opportunity. This is your first meeting. So what we do is we have the board. This this is the board's work. Then there will be public comment. Then the board will go back to the, the business and then it'll be public comment again. So we'll be able to recognize you okay. at the point of the public comment. Um, the other reports, the uh, Highway, the water sewer building, the assessor, the Upper Delaware Council, uh, energy zoning provision, any of those will be put on to the regular minutes to be read. Now, at this point, I will open up for 10 minutes for the purpose of public comment. So you're all set. Yeah, well, thank you. So no, you just Hold on. Come, um, come on up to the, like just, you need, like you need to come up to the front. It's for the purposes of our new world. I'm getting brave on Jesus. I'm crazy in my life. I never had to do this before. So, what was new? But, um, somebody moved my pen. Um, and they took my property and they put an illegal septic system in. And I don't know what to do. I'm like really upset. It's going on five years. I haven't used my backyard. I battled breast cancer before. I was so happy to come to this town. I've never been in so much harassment in my life. <laughs> and an illegal septic system, they don't, I don't think they have a permit. They did it and he snuckily said, oh, why had the town guy help me? And it was with my ex. My ex accused me of something crazy. And I'm going on, I'm going to court and everything. I'm scared to death. And it also was with, I hate to say it, but Jocelyn's husband and, and Andy Chilhone and Rick Scanyon. They all put an illegal septic system and destroyed my yard, moved my pen. And I'm like, where do I go to get my property back that they're paying taxes? What year does it? And excuse me, they did throw me a violation. Okay. What year but is on, this my, put on my paper, I pay, I pay star. And I'm really getting upset. I've been stressed. I've lost a lot of weight. I'm just getting like, I can't take it anymore. I feel like I'm being abused. Your Wait. name is? Bonnie Carla. And where's your property? It's on 14 Gables Road. All right. And I have now, I have a porta potty and I have water. But when I purchased the property, it said private and everything was fine. My neighbors moved in that were friends with people from the town and they threw, they, got, they threw me a violation. They put a septic system in that did with their, where they broke. And then they took it on my land and they seen it was all coming up with my ex that accused me of something I never did. And then he put a fence up 
and all this, such, everything. I said, they took my land. They Bonnie. destroyed my backyard. I can't even put vegetables in. What year, Bonnie, did they put And in? I'm trying to work on it, and they're putting down my plants. Bonnie, what year did they put the septic in? It was 20. I was working in Walmart. I work all the time. Then I got picked on when what I was year in the was factory. That? I came. I said, who is this? What year was that? No. Huh? What year was that put in? What year? Why? Well, yes, grandfather Floyd went to Pace University for college for real estate. What? What year? What year? Was 2016. Okay, thank you. And then when I was working in with the factory, I came in and all of a sudden everybody was in cahoots. Everyone knew who and everything was hush hush, Angie Shalom. And they come running at me. I'm like, what's happening? Meanwhile, my ex helped them. And then supposedly the story was when they put it in, and I have a good memory. It was my ex, he was nasty, and he was like, oh, you know, Andy, he didn't even cap that thing. Bonnie, what do you, what do you? Shorty, his, her husband said, put the cap on it, excuse my language, he said, fuck the cap. My property is just, I have pictures. Bonnie, what are you asking of the board? Of you guys to help me out. Okay. And then also, I have to, I have a violation that I'm paying, I, I got materials, and they were like, no, that's not good enough. Now, the late. The guy that was in it, his a, wife died of breast okay, died you, of cancer. You got to give me a chance. Yeah. Okay. You had an issue um, with well and water, if I'm correct, on your yeah. property, and the code enforcement and I officer. Know, I didn't want to use the water because that's Bonnie, what, yeah. Thank you. And the code enforcement officer worked with you in order to get some sort of remedy. Yeah, he was trying to work with me, and then Jocelyn would grab the things and go, "No, that ain't good enough." And then they're using cahoots okay, with the neighbor. Okay, let's. Well, let's Let's stick to some yes, of the facts. Yes, You're yes, asking for help from the board. Yeah. The building department has helped you so far, as far as Jim, I know, has been in contact yeah, with you. Yeah. Okay. But so I have not, to you go been, she's the assistant. Okay, but you haven't been left in the lurch. They are, the building well, department is. I can't even use my backyard. Okay. I mean, that's terrible. I can talk and, to Jim. You're at. You're asking the board something. We, we can talk to you Jim. You know, and every time I try to do something, now with my ex doing this, and then I'm getting a lot of crooked so, stuff going on. So in the you board. you bought a house. I can't take it. You bought a house, and the septic was in prior to that, correct? Yeah, and I bought the house from the in the septic gentleman. system. In the septic system, it was private. It was bad. Yeah, right. Everything was private. Okay. But the neighbors were so happy, and they said, I know, I'm going to call her up. I'm friends with her. We'll take so it. it's your septic system that's bad, or the neighbor's No, the neighbor, he, okay. his was really bad. And that was put in in 2016. And then they said, oh, my God, they hit it. Like when he did the trailer, supposedly, he threw it in overnight. He did that overnight. And he made a mess. And even his, which I got, I feel bad, his Victor passed away. But he said, my dad fucked this place up. Don't move. All right. And then they we move my we dad. can leave the color out of the right. explanation. I'd appreciate it. I know. I'm sorry. It's um, a terrible vulgar. I will, talk, I will talk with Jim. You do realize you're coming to a board in 2023 asking about something that happened in 2016. So pretty Was much. Was there a grandfather Floyd? In no, I'm just. I'm, I'm, I know. I'm, but you know what? On top I'm, you got to give me a chance. Yes. yes that's you you just got to give me a chance. Sorry. What you're what you're doing is you're coming here asking about something that happened in 2016, and you're asking for us in 2023. Well, it would be nice to fix it after how many. Well, I don't know about fixing it, but we'll find out information for you. Okay, that's you're yeah. asking for okay. help. We'll find worse information. Worse the worst, then I have to. I got a lawyer, but okay. you know, I'm just not a mean person. Just to be clear, this is well outside of the water and sewer district. Yeah. Yes. Well, outside of the water and the sewer district. This has nothing to do with the town water and sewer. This is well, a private. Well, what, what I'm saying is, yeah. I couldn't even use the water with the cesspool. It was it's this terrible. is a private septic. Yes. Yeah, problem. he has the well. He has the he has a big cesspool in my back. I will speak to Jim. I appreciate I will report it, but I don't want to get in trouble. You know what I mean? You're not, you're I'm fine. suffering as it is. It's terrible. I'm the, they look at me, my neighbors from Long Island, like we got it. We know everyone. Don't right. worry. I'm gonna open it. And when I try to get things people. fixed, I got put down. And the guy in PA, his, his uh, wife passed away of cancer, and he felt bad. He goes, Tony, I'll try to help you out, you know, I'll, I'll do an addition. And they said, oh, that's not good enough. You know, it was terrible. On top of that, that's totally illegal to have all that cesspool, you know, and I just had to bear with it. And I put it in the Lord's hands. I don't want to hurt nobody, okay. you that's know. Fine. Thank but you. I will talk corrected. to Jim, and then I can report Thank back you. to the board what he says.
Any other comment from the floor? Bernie. One quick comment on the smoke testing. Notify the fire department. Somebody's going to have a bad connection. It's going to fill the house with smoke. And yeah, I don't know whether they have or not. It'll be blue smoke for sure. Um, I, we can find out if they did. Which they probably have been notified because there was all of the... Well, everybody in the district was notified, but we'll we'll double check. Well, no, sure. You just can't look at the grass and say it's fine. You know what I mean? Thank you, Bonnie. Yes, Star. I have a couple of comments I'd like to make. <clears throat> First of all, you mentioned something about um, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, lights. And the Tustin uh, Energy Committee. I think I think there was something mentioned about that. Anyway, um, no, I'm sorry. It was the, it was Riverfest. The Riverfest is coming up. Um, I was on Main Street Monday, and once again, I had people coming up to me as I'm gardening, saying, "Is there a bathroom here? What is going to be done to accommodate the public coming to Narrowsburg and being on the Main Street without toilet facilities?" Who's handling that and that correcting that? For Riverfest, do you mean, or for, for the whole time? For, it was a Riverfest on, River Fest on Monday. And this lady and four other people from out of town came up. Luckily, it was Monday. The library was open late and they could use the bathroom up there. But that does not help on Tuesday when the library is closed and they shouldn't be flopping up there for the library. Anyway, Main Street is a business district. You're offering it to the public. There should be some sort of public restroom facilities on that street. And certainly when you have a mob coming in for like Riverfest, that needs to be handled and it needs to be handled better than the last time last year. Ben, I can answer a question. Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. I run the meeting for the board at their direction. You are the public. I open the comment period for the public. I recognize people from the floor, I and I don't want people from the floor interrupting the meeting. Thank you. Okay, um, that's the restroom situation. I'd like to make a formal request that somebody, especially on the board, make the arrangements for this. Who's going to handle that particular problem? The next thing I'd like to ask is, has anyone taken over for the Tustin Energy Committee? Are they, is anybody doing anything? We're continuing to work with uh, Jennifer. Jennifer on the transfer, transfer, transfer of the force. No, um, that, that's, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the street lights, the LED street lights. Okay, I've been handling that as, if you're asking. Okay, are you aware that uh, the lights that were put on Main Street. One of them doesn't work at all. The one, the decorative one, right in front of, uh, I think it's around uh, Joan Santos, now it's proper. The rest of the lights on Main Street are on all the time, which means that we are paying, those who put in for energy saving and cost saving reasons, we are paying electricity for those lights to run 24 seven. So someone's got to get a hold of NYSEG, get them out there, fix what's wrong with the one that doesn't work, and make the one that the ones that do work not run all the time. Yeah, so I don't believe that was that won't be NYSEG. That'll be the uh, the company that put them up. Whoever it is, mm -hmm. I think NYSEG is the one who's getting the electric charges from that. So we should be able to get that set at one, two, three. Um, I'm asking, as part of the Narrowsburg Beautification Group, I've been asked to uh, check on a voucher that was put in on June 26th, sent to the town um, for the total of $306.32. And we are just wondering where that is in the reimbursement chain and when they might be sending the money to the new Narrowsburg Beautification Group for that. Oh, absolutely. Um, uh, Marysburg Beautification was one of the categories. I do not remember the exact amount, but it was in the bills that would be. Needed. And what, so when do they have an idea of when that is? I would imagine it would be in the next couple of days because it, it was listed as 
bill is payable. Okay. If there are questions on the voucher, okay. it's been partially paid. Yeah. So, to whom should we direct the bills in future specifically? So, that's the way it works. You're, you're correct. It, it, as long as it gets in before the week before the meeting, which it did on the 26th, it, it then gets vouchered by the clerk's office, which it did. And then if uh, it goes before the board, which it did so that they approved it, and then the checks are cut the next day after the meeting. So when we send in a voucher, it doesn't have to be attention to anyone specific. It just gets dropped off on the desk someplace? No, it goes to the office. Sure. Okay. All right. Thank you. Last thing on my agenda here. Um, I have been made aware that there's going to be some sort of a shindig on August 5th on Route 52, that supposedly there's going to be quite a lot of cars and people coming in. And I was just wondering if there had been any uh, application for a gathering or a permit for that. What is the name of the event that might help me? Uh, I think it's Lala Close. Lala Close. So yeah, that's being held on private property. Uh huh. That's going to be parking and traffic on the road. Where are they, where are they parking the people that were going to go into that? They don't have to have any kind of permit or anything? Not on private property. It's not a town function. Well, it's not a town function, but if there's no different than if parking over somebody wants to road, have a, no, no different okay? than if somebody has a graduation party. I think Lollapalooza is going to have somewhat more than the number of people that would show up at a graduation party. I'm just concerned because I am I live on that road uh -huh. and the people drive up and down that road like maniacs. There's I very short on the site. I can contact them and find out what they've got for. What arrangements have been made? Sure. Okay, thank you very much. Star, I'm sure we'll get back to you in a more formal manner, okay. but I was in a meeting where that was discussed and I believe all the parking was going to be contained on one field away from the road. Okay, just so somebody knows what's going yep. on. That is not... But I'm speaking informally there, but just to give you some idea of what's going on before no, official sure. words. It's true. So that's good. That becomes official. Do you want to get back to start now? Do you want me to? I will let you. Thank you. I knew that you would do that for me. <laughs> uh, Any other comment from the floor? Yes, ma'am. I'd just like to ask you a quick question. I know this is not the planning board, but the planning board hasn't met for a couple of months. Um, and the people, people were kind of wondering, does anybody have any idea what the status of the visual application is for the sale of the... Um, or the so? We do not, okay, other than it hasn't come back before the planning board. No, okay. Because it's been pending for over a year. Is there a time limit to have to get them? No. I do not believe that there is one. But just informationally, when, because for the last couple of months, the planning board has said, hey, we don't have anything to meet about. When will the public know whether or not there's a planning board meeting? Usually the planning board chairman wants everything in at least two two weeks prior to the meeting so that he can set his agenda and let them know. Um, and they have to know at least seven days before the meeting. So by this time next week, we'll know. Yeah. There's a meeting. yeah. Just Okay. So, so people don't show up or, you know, right. anticipate going to a meeting. You can't be a meeting without notice, right? Correct. Okay. Any other comment from the floor? Any comment from the... And I just one more question. The thing. Okay. How do one go about fixing my thing back to the way it was? Fixing your... I'm sorry, your what? My... For the property. I'm getting out. Oh, that I'm is getting a it's a civil case. I don't know how you go about it. Your pin. We deal in municipal law. Um, to be honest, I don't know. We could try to find out. I mean, you can search. Be, that's a private matter, Ben. That's yeah, it, it, it's just it's a civil. That's a property boundary issue between adjoining property owners. You should confer with your own counsel about that. And a, and a surveyor, if you had a surveyor that's yeah, because the the, well, then I could say somebody moved the pin, they're going to pay for the surveyor. I don't know that, man. You, like I said, you should get your own legal counsel and get advice about that. One. Well, there you go. You should ask him or her those questions. Sure. <laughs>
Uh, moving into old business, the park pavilion, um, the committee, as it said, had met. They are awaiting bid spec drawing from that. Um, they moved it around a couple times. I kind of wish Jane was here because I did miss the meeting, um, but they're, they'll have some plans to be able to at least look at it the next meeting. Um, assuming the plans are good, we can put it out to bid, let the public have a look at it, see what they think. You have some concerns or questions or no no because I, I i definitely want the people to be able to weigh in on it but mm -hmm. uh it seems like they I, I think well. yeah, yeah i think they've done a good job um what they're looking at and they took a lot of things into consideration